Welcome back to our YouTube channel, uh, this is Victor Academy, and we are carrying on under this playing list on transformation questions for all the past papers from 2024 back uh, to 2020, so that we cover the gap of mastering our topics. So here, I will highlight the question. This was question 8 from November 2022 under transformation so section b this was an option and the question required us to answer this whole question on a sheet of graph paper and the scale was x from minus six to four and y from minus six to eight and the scale is two centimeters to represent two units so a single square which measures two centimeters will represent two units then on part a we are required to draw but before we draw we need to identify uh the shape matrix so the shape matrix is here the shape matrix we just take the vertices two and one we align them then three and three we align them one and five we align them so this is the triangle matrix we derived from uh the given vertices then we draw and label then on part b uh triangle b is the image of triangle p triangle q is the image of triangle p under a translation uh through vector minus six seven so we just take our matrix or we can deal with coordinates if you are comfortable you just add there so we are going to take our translation vector and put it into the matrix so that we get the vertices so minus six on top then minus seven on the bottom then we simplify two minus six we get minus four one minus seven we get minus six so we simplify all we get these vertices minus four six minus three four minus five two then we draw and label. There was nothing uh, uh, much here. Then we are given these coordinates. 1, 5, 3, 6, and 1, 7 is the image of triangle P under its transformation X. I suspect that there is an error. This is supposed to be negative 1. But anyway, we are going to work with what's on the question paper. Then uh, I will highlight uh, uh, the answer of the original marking scheme. Uh, but it seems there was an error here. So we are required to draw and label triangle R. So we draw and label according to what is given on the question paper. Then we will describe fully the transformation X for three marks. So let's just derive the matrix so that we can compare with the original and see if there are any similarities. And uh, yeah, I don't see any much similarity, but it seems to be a shear if, if this was correct. If the coordinates here were correct, this was going to be a shear because this 5 is sheared to 7, this 3 is sheared to 6, and this 1 uh, is sheared to 5. So uh, we're going to draw and see. Then let's go on part D. Triangle S is the image of triangle P under one way stretch of stretch factor minus 2 with Y with Y axis invariant this means y is not going to change so it's a movement along x-axis so uh, this is an error so this minus two showing that only the values of x are going to move and y is invariant then we multiply with the original shape matrix that's why we derived this matrix so that we multiply with the stretch matrix so we simplify or let's do it when we start to draw. Uh, so let's start our uh, draw. So this was our graph, and we are using the scale two centimeters to represent two units. So it's two, four, six, eight, going. And for my uh, for x axis, we are going to start from minus six and end at four. For y axis, we are going to start at minus six and end at what eight. Then let's plot. So this was the plot 2, 1, uh, 3, 6, then 1, 5. Then we join with the ruler straight lines. So I required it to draw and label. So I've drawn, I've labeled, and I've shown my plots. So I collected my one mark there. Then I go on part B. I've solved the translation vector. I've added the translation uh, matrix to the shape matrix and got my vertices, which were what? minus four uh minus six minus three minus four then minus five minus two then i will join and label so this was triangle q 
Then we move on to part C after drawing and labeling Q. So part C, uh, I think there was an error there. If uh, it's true that there was an error on 1, which was supposed to be negative 1, we are going to draw something like this. But uh, let's work with what on the question paper because uh, there's no written statement to correct that error. So we're going to work with that error. So this one is um one five, this is one seven, this is uh three six. So in this way, if you are going to describe, I will describe this one as a shear y because it's a movement along the x axis. Uh, along the y axis. And shear is non-isometric. So I'll write this as a shear. I'm working with what's on the paper. Uh, but if you check their marking scheme, uh, this can be wrong because uh, they are working with the uh, correct vertices, not what's on the question paper. So let's move on. On S. So on S, this was the stretch matrix. It must be uh, well faced with these types of matrices. So this minus 2 is representing a movement uh, along x axis. And one year is represent y invariant. And we have taken the matrix of the original shape. Then we multiply. Let's multiply. Then we get our vertices row by column minus 4, 1, minus 6, 3. Then we have minus 2, 5. Then we can draw. So I've labeled here. Then I draw. So this was uh, the shape x. And if you want to see that you are correct, uh, you can just check that your points are in the same line. Your points must be in the same line. Your points must be in the same line. So on this means on y axis it did not change. So it's y invariant. Then on x axis it moved. So that is what is uh, meant by y invariant. So this marks the end of our lesson. We are going to move on. On another transformation question flow uh, from 2023 so don't forget to join our whatsapp groups don't forget to join our whatsapp channels we'll be sending uh, these types of videos every day